up in central Minnesota, one of the very first things I was always doing was wing shooting. My mom and dad would bring us duck hunting, pheasant hunting, that's what we love to do. But honestly, it's been quite a while since I've been able to do it. In fact, I've done one hunt in probably the last 10 years that had anything to do with wing shooting. So when I had the chance to go to Argentina only for a wing shooting show, well, I was pretty excited because I know of all the places in the world, it's probably one of the best places to go dove hunting, duck hunting, they've got paradise, they've got all sorts of different things to go after. And that's something that seemed really interesting to me. Twenty years ago, in 1994, my dad came from, from Spain to do some business. Nobody knows about the dove population in Argentina, so he was very surprised when he saw that so many bears in the fields. And I remember that he called me by telephone and he, he can't believe that. So, well, we come like an adventure from Spain to Argentina to do what it was our dream, hunting, and well, finally it was a, <laughs> a job. Now, of course, if you can go and shoot literally thousands of doves, well, that's fun, but I kind of like a variety. And coming with Paco Riestra, one of the very first things that Assis said is that we would have the opportunity to go after different things each day. And that makes it a lot more fun. Not only is it more challenging, but you get to do a wide variety, and it's a social thing. So Shin Lee from Field and Stream was also going to be joining me, so I knew we were going to have a great time. It was something that we wouldn't have to sit in a tree stand, be quiet. We could be out there dove hunting, duck hunting, and having a blast. Well, there's definitely something to be said for being out here. We have been shooting all morning. All you can hear are gunshots and they just keep coming. At the beginning, I uh, wasn't shooting so great, but you definitely get better as you go and no better way than sitting out here practicing. And I'm shooting a 20 gauge out here. It really does help when you're shooting literally thousands of shots. Well, 20 gauge is a perfect setup and it has been doing a great job on these doves. And this is awesome. <laughs> So I had never been on a dove hunt before ever, so I didn't know what to expect. I watched some videos um, before I came down here and I had talked to some folks back at our office just, you know, trying to get an understanding of what to expect. And I still was not prepared for what a dove hunt in Argentina was going to be like. There were so many doves, it was actually overwhelming at first to figure out where I was going to aim that shotgun and which one I was going to shoot at. The thing that I had to get used to was the speed at which they were moving, um, trying to pick one out of the air and focus on that. Um, it took me about 20 minutes to really get used to how quickly they were moving because I was really shooting behind them. Um, and so to focus on one and stay with it, but stay in front of it, uh, was a challenge at first. Uh, but once I got the hang out, the hang of it, it was a blast. We just wrapped up my first morning of dove hunting out here in Argentina. It was awesome. I honestly, I didn't have any idea what to expect. I figured there were going to be tons of doves. Never did I think there were going to be this many. We're out here with Paco Riestra, just an awesome place. And the coolest part is, well, today we're dove hunting. Tomorrow we're duck hunting, and every day we're doing something different. They've got a wide variety of stuff here, so we're going to try it all. It was awesome. I got 158 doves this morning. I'm sure if I was a little better shot, I could have had a few more, but there was no point in time ever that there weren't doves everywhere. So really makes it exciting. Great practice. Way more fun than I could have ever expected. This segment was brought to you by U.S. Sportsman's Alliance. Our heritage, our fight, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Did you know that in 2005, the USSA and its partners stopped an animal cruelty bill that would have outlawed hunting in Texas? This is a state that ranks second nationwide in number of sportsmen and women with 2.71 million hunters and anglers who spend 4.1 billion annually and support over 65,000 jobs. Bottom line, don't mess with Texas. Just another fun fact showing how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. We 
shot so many rounds that first morning and I just was completely overwhelmed with the amount of doves. And people tried to tell me before I got down here, like, you're gonna see so many, you're not even gonna know which way to shoot. And I still didn't, I st it still wasn't even what I expected. It was beyond that, but it made for such a different type of hunting. I'm, I'm definitely more used to uh, less active style of hunting with big game. Um, and so this was much more involved. And when you missed one, it was okay because there were about 5,000 more to go. So that made it um, really fun and much more of an active hunt. Sometimes people would wonder, why would you go all the way to Argentina to shoot doves when you got them right at home in Minnesota? But that is why. There are literally thousands around here, and they said that these doves are actually a huge problem. I mean, they can eat up to 75% of the crop, so it's great for the hunters because it is the most plentiful source I have ever seen, but we're also helping and doing a service because it is a real, real problem. But it's awesome to come here, everything's nice, the people are wonderful, and the hunting, Probably the best I've ever seen. Heads up. <laughs> it's like the third time you've almost hit me in the head with a dove. Hola, soy Paco Riestra. Hello, I'm Paco Riestra. I came to Argentina more or less 23 years ago and discovered that this land is a paradise for small game. I have hunted in six different provinces of Argentina, and in the end I found myself in Santiago del Estero, primarily because I feel it is the best place to really take advantage of all the different types of birds that this country has to offer. You can hunt partridge, you can hunt ducks, you can hunt pigeons, and of course, doves. So, in the end, it is that variety and availability that convinced me to stay in Argentina and enjoy my favorite pastime, hunting. This is a totally different hunt that I'm used to. We went out this morning, we got here about eight o'clock, doves flying nonstop. They've been flying all day. We went in for lunch, came back out this afternoon, and Shin Lee and I decided we're gonna hunt right next to each other. We have got the doves, they just come streaming in right over the top. It makes it so fun and the coolest part is we're helping out. They have a huge dove problem here. As you can see, and really, it's a hunter's paradise coming out here. There's just non-stop action and we get to hunt doves today, we get to hunt ducks tomorrow. It really, really makes it fun. Oh, and then a miss. <laughs> One of the great things about going out on these hunts um, and photo shoots is that we get to put a lot of our gear to the test. Um, with Field and Stream, you know, we're about starting new traditions and um, sharing those traditions and passing them down. And we do that through the products that we make and that we sell. And so we put our name on everything that we sell at the store. And it's important to us that we test that gear and, and make sure that it's going to live up to the name of the brand. Well, that was an absolutely awesome day. What did you think? That was amazing. I had so much fun and I'm so sore, but I had such a blast and I can't believe how many doves are just flying around constantly. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous. I'm like, I probably won't even hardly hit any doves today. Boy, you can miss a lot and you still get a good cut. Well, I've just never seen this amount of volume of things like flying around all at once. It's like you miss once, put something else in right now. Oh yeah, it's been awesome. Well, my uh, shoulder's a little sore. I'm excited yeah. for tomorrow. Duck I hunting. Too, but I'm Duck hunting. Maybe there won't be quite as many. Think of how slow they're going to be tomorrow. These things are like this. Well, that was Ducks. the other thing. I wasn't expecting them to be going so fast. I mean, they are flying. Yeah, so. but you've caught right up to them. You've been doing awesome. <laughs> nice job. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Cutty Back Digital. More deer, fewer blanks. Hard hitting Eastern Arrows. Golden Triangle Whitetail. Winchester, celebrating 150 years of legendary excellence. Scent Killer Gold with Hunt Dry technology. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV UTV accessories.
Well, we may be down in Argentina, but it was absolutely freezing this morning. We're up bright and early. Everyone's getting ready. We're putting our waders on. We're heading out duck hunting, but I have every layer that I brought with me, I believe. I think I've got probably eight layers on and I'm still cold, so hopefully we walk around, we'll warm up, but it should be fun. I'm pretty excited. Something totally different and it'll warm up eventually. When most people think of traveling to Argentina, well, everybody thinks of duck but they actually have a wide variety. And this week, that's what we were gonna be trying to do. Now, one of the very first things that Cease wanted us to go try is duck hunting. Now, they do it a little bit different than we do back at home. They brought us out, we walked through a pretty big slough that wasn't real deep in the morning and got set up, and I had no idea what to expect. It was dark, all of a sudden I look up, it was just barely getting light out, and I could see ducks everywhere. set up we've got decoys out behind us we've got ducks coming right over the top i wish i was taller because i see them right at the last minute but it's really awesome out here we've had tons of ducks coming through the limit is 30 in the morning 30 in the afternoon so it's been awesome so far they're just strolling through and you gotta watch because sometimes they're coming from behind too so shin lee and justin are both up there and uh, so far we've got eight ducks down for dove hunting, you're really in sort of a, um, a lane and, and the doves are just flying overhead left and right hundreds going a million miles an hour. Whereas on the second day, uh, we had to throw the waders on, get out in the water, um, get out in some blinds and shoot ducks over water, which I had never done before and was a really, really cool experience. While the ducks were bigger, um, they didn't get quite as close as the doves were, and so that was a little bit of an adjustment for me there. Uh, but I really enjoyed duck hunting. It was the first time I've ever done that, and they were beautiful. And it was such a such a cool experience to um, to see them, and then go and retrieve them, and then be able to take pictures with them after because they're they're really beautiful animals. I've been duck hunting since I was a little kid out in Minnesota. The only time I can remember shooting this much, probably youth days, but this is by far the best day of duck hunting I've ever had, and it was only the morning. I mean, it's not even 10 o'clock and we're already going back. I got my limit of ducks. It was just truly awesome. And the coolest part is, they're all ducks that I've never seen before, so really, really a great time. Had a lot of fun. Got some good shooting, some bad shooting, but that's all part of it. And we're gonna head back, have some lunch, and we get to come back out and do it again this afternoon. And it was just really beautiful. It was a cool setup. It warmed up as we were out there. We were in waders, but we weren't all the way up to our chest. Just enjoying it, seeing the morning, and the coolest part was probably seeing the wide variety of ducks. I wasn't even sure what some of them were. There were a lot of different variety. It looked like teal, and he'd tell us the names in Spanish, but I wasn't totally sure what they were. Just some really beautiful ducks. And by the time we went in, we were all smiles. Memory Chase, building our future one child at a time. Memory Chase is all about getting more kids involved and features home video from viewers just like you. This week, we're heading to Illinois with 11-year-old Braden Griffith.
he's heavy. That's awesome, man. I wonder if he's heavy in size. <laughs> Weighs about a thousand pounds. Dude, that's your biggest buck. Yeah. If you or someone you know has youth hunting footage they'd like to share, we'd love to feature their hunt. Visit MemoryChase.com for details. So, a chance to see your kids on TV, a new mission bow, plus tons of other great gear for each weekly winner, why not enter today? Memory Chase, building our future one child at a time. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester Repeating Arms. Matthews Archery, catch us if you can. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. ScoutLookWeather.com, download the free Deer Log app for your smartphone. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Analogix, protect your deer herd with the power of science and Boss Buck for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market. Now you're getting serious. Closed captioning is brought to you by Cuddyback Digital. Upgrade to Cuddyback and your images will never look better. Well, it's a whole lot warmer this time we're getting ready. We're heading back out. We're going to go close to the same area. The only problem is we're missing somebody. Shinley had to stay back. She had some meetings. So unfortunately, her and I were going to duck hunt together this evening. But looks like Justin and I will be going out there. Hopefully, we can do a pretty good job. I asked. They said that duck hunting is usually as good in the morning as it is in the evening. So with that, I think we're going to have a pretty good evening in front of us. I can tell you one of my favorite places for hand ducks is here. The reasons are that this area is very wild, we're in the middle of the nothing, there is very few competition. And the other good thing, the weather. The weather is great in this area in winter because it's not too cold. And you can enjoy maybe in the mornings and the afternoons are a little bit chilly, but in the day, sometimes you are in shirt and, and that's make very, very nice the hunting. Now this afternoon we're getting back out duck hunting, but we're going to do it a little different. In fact, we've got this boat here, we've got a horse. We're going to have the horse pull us out in the boat and get to our location. We can walk, but it's quite a ways, and they said they do this a lot of times for people who have a harder time walking. We've got a long walk in, so I think it's going to be really awesome. Something totally different. Never had a horse pull in a boat before, but we'll see how it goes, and hopefully it's good. <laughs> And there goes our boat with our horse. <laughs> I really wanted to walk in this time, but Melissa insisted that we come in right in on style. Kind of scares the ducks a little bit. Like, I'm going to throw your butt right <laughs> in the water. <laughs> All right, I lied. I'm just kidding. Assis wanted us to do kind of the traditional way they hunt ducks. And how they do it is they actually have a horse pulling the boat along and you ride in the boat. Now it's not super deep water and it's not that you necessarily need it, but that's how they do it. And I thought, why not give it a try? Oh, we've got a new blind set up. I think it's gonna be really good. We can see tons of ducks already over there. Everything should be pretty well hidden in here. We're, uh, looks like it's gonna be good. The horse took off, so we got dropped off. Never rode out to a duck blind behind a horse in a boat before, but pretty cool deal. <laughs> nice out, the ducks were flying, and as it did get closer to evening, well that's when the mosquitoes started coming out, but so did the ducks. At first it was a little bit slow. We had ducks coming by and we had some shooting, but as it got closer to dark, just like it is back home, the ducks were coming out of the woodwork. They were all over the place, and once again, a whole new variety of ducks for us to go after, and it really was an amazing time.
This week, Melissa was hunting doves and ducks with Paco Riestra in Argentina. To book your Argentina wing shooting adventure where you can hunt doves, ducks, pigeons, and perdiz all in one location, visit PacoRiestra.com. Follow Melissa on Twitter at Melissa Bachman, on Facebook at Facebook.com forward slash Winchester Deadly Passion, and Instagram at Melissa underscore Bachman for behind the scenes footage, photos, giveaways, and much more.